Hello all, it's Melinda. I want to apologize for being so late at getting another video up. I've been doing some videos for some projects that have to remain secret for a little bit. They'll be up shortly, but until then, I decided to do a layout just to show you guys. I'm going to do, based on this sketch, and I will link it below, I've done another layout based on this sketch as well. In that one, I used hot pink. So I'm thinking that I want to do something a little bit different this time. This time, I want to use mermaid markers, and I'm thinking I want to go with a red and gray color scheme. So I'm picking lobster. I happen to have this much left of this acrylic piece, and I've had this for years, and I've just never known what to do with it. So it looks like it would go with this based on the sketch. So I'm going to try it and see. And the photo I'm using is a photo I took of my husband, myself, and our two youngest at a track meet. But the story I want to tell is basically we have four kids. Two of them are teenagers and will, you know, they're going off to college. And it'll, again, just be the four of us. So I might crop the photo a little bit so it's just the four of us. And, you know, that kind of aspect of it. Um, depending on what color this ends up looking like on there, I'm going to try to use the heart paper as one of the layers. And the rest of the layers, in my head, I have them as being gray. So I picked three grays from my stash, uh, my scrap stash. Um, this, these two are holiday papers. And that one is just an eight and a half by 11. I figure with the photo spanning across both, if they need to be longer, I can cut it in the center. So they'll work. Um, I'm going to put it on watercolor paper, but because I'm, I want this to move around, the, the marker to move around a little bit, I am going to put clear gesso kind of down the center so that I'm hoping that that would help it move around, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm a little afraid that this will get it dark and soak in too fast for me to fix any problems. So I'm going to stick you on fast forward, and hopefully this will turn out like I want. Thanks for watching. Now this starts out exactly how I told you I was going to do it. I put the gesso on and use a little spatula to flatten it out, to spread it out. I dry it and I put the color on. I spray a little bit of water, not enough, and I start, as I'm spraying this, notice how the overcast is going. I couldn't get it off. I wet it and tried again and it kept it with a pink hue. So I scrapped this one. I try for a second one with the same marker and thinking I was doing this right and I don't mind the fact that, that there's no overspray but this is too wide too square and a little bit too much water so I'm gonna try to make this work and I'm gonna live with this for a little bit I'm gonna make do a little bit narrower and I don't know what I was thinking because there's already color haloing it. So I of course wasn't gonna like that. So I try to make the color the same so the background all around it to be kind of like that halo color. I never can get the color I like it. And in the end, I don't like this. You will get to look at this for a little bit though because um, I'm running out of time to scrap at this moment because I have to take the girls to track practice. So I'm gonna start doing the layers. I'm going to back the photo in white, going to cut that to, um, acetate to the size, and I'm going to just start playing with the layers with the width of them and cutting them down and just seeing what I would like. All the while in the back of my mind, I'm hoping to goodness that when I come back that this will look better to me. Maybe I'm fooling myself and thinking a fairy was going to fix it for me. They don't. Of course not. But I'm just trying to figure out what else I'm going to do because I really don't like the background. 
and this is where I leave it and I come back and I decide to use my Liquitex Basics um, I'm gonna combine two cadmium red medium hue and Ali Zirin Krinsman and add lots of water I want more of a wash and I'm just using my flat widest brush I own and I was I hesitated because I was a little nervous about this but I just kind of wipe it down and spray it and to me this looks a little wide now that I'm doing it but in the end I, I end up liking it I'm gonna roll it off so that it's not such a harsh red more of a pale almost dark pink and this is how it stays um, I know I got to cut the lengths of these down just a little bit because they're just too close to the edges to the top and the bottom and I have two sections of the pink of the hearts I want the photo to be a little bit wider so I'm gonna use the other gray paper the small lined green paper and make a bigger border and that's working for me I like that but I want to see if I can add something more these are um, chipboard clocks from blue fern these are the small clocks they have actually larger ones that are 11 inches is the biggest one and I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna use all three of them and I'm just experimenting what I don't like is I don't like them being seeing through the acetate so I'll fix that later this is some wide washi tape that I got off Aliexpress and I will link it below it's just newsprint and I rip it in half it's like three inches wide I like a torn edge on it so I rip one in half and put it on each side I just like the layer that I that it gives the bottom eventually I'm gonna get tired of playing with these three layers and staple them together because they just keep moving around I decide that I also want tissue paper surprise surprise I seem like I use that all the time and I'm gonna do my technique that I use of sticking one side down I wrinkle it up first stick one side down and then stick the other side down and then here I show you the big loop I have and I just kind of scrunch it down till it looks nice and then I take washi tape and just tape it so that it stays in its wrinkles I'm gonna trim this up a little bit because it's a little bit crazy and I wanted it to be a little bit tighter I want these black so I'm gonna take some Tim Holtz black soot and I speed this up quite a bit because this took me a while um, raw chipboard seems to suck the paint up just popping out all the little extra pieces that didn't need to be there and I don't mind I don't mind them overlapping the paper I just don't like it when they when they're overlapping the acrylic piece it's just to my eye it's just too much black and too many lines going opposite directions now these came with hands and I tried I thought well hands of time that would make sense for my layout I tried and I put them on there and I thought okay the big one I wouldn't mind but you're not gonna see much of them and I put I put the hands in the small one and go no that's too much so I strike those I'm gonna staple that finally so they don't quit moving around and I tuck the black under the clocks under I like that better I'm going to use the daily flash in what color do they call that let's see stoplight and my title is gonna be just four again these I love these letter stickers I honestly wish 
that October Afternoon still made these because they are wonderful. I have them in multiple colors in multiple sheets of each and I use them like crazy. Um, at this point in time, I'm thinking the, the title is going to go about where it's at, but I don't like it. But I, when I think about it, I don't want it to cross all those layers because it just is hard to read. So I think on the photo, this is where it ends up is on the bottom, but I want it on the top. And I thought that's the perfect spot for it. But as I figure it out, there's too many letters that are above the, the picture layer and it's too much. Um, of a gap for them. Now I realize that I want to, I, there is stuff I want to say about this, so I need to create a journaling pocket, but I have to back the photo so there's a solid something for the tag to slide against. So I cut two pieces of scrap white paper that I have and I'm going to glue one straight to the backing and then I'm going to set the tag where I want it and hold it there, flip it over, and then I'm going to take Scott's foam adhesive, cut it a little strip in half, and lay one on one side and one on the other side of the tag, and then cut a piece for the bottom, and then also to raise the rest of the layer up here or there. Peel them all off, and then I'm going to stick this right over top of it, and it just creates a a nice pocket so that it has space to come in and out and it doesn't ever get tight and difficulty pulling out. This is leather jute, I guess. It's like leather cording. Um, I wanted this just to staple it, but it looked like rabbit ears and I just couldn't figure out how to get the, that not to look like rabbit ears. So I looped it like I normally do. I'm just showing you there's a little pocket. It slides right in. I'm going to cut them a little bit shorter. It adds another layer of black. I, I wasn't sure that I was going to like it, but it almost lines up with the spot of the black on the, on the acrylic piece, so it doesn't really bother me. I'm trying to figure out where to cut these because I don't want to waste all that underneath there because I can use it in another layout. But for some reason, it just doesn't look like it did before, and it ends up staying the way it is, but I, don't, I, I still can't figure out how I cut it wrong. I'm just going to try to stick these the best I can to the back side. And I'm going to, I cut up all three of them. And I do have to put foam down the center so that the paper is the same level as those pieces. Just um, self-adhesive fun foam is all I use. Get it at Walmart. Doesn't matter what color it is because no one sees it. Only you guys. This one, I want to overlap it a little bit with that black one. And I'm thinking of how I'm going to do that because it's going to be raised up and it needs something to pop it up off the background. I ran out of glue, so I had to go get a stick. I'm only using hot glue because it's fun foam and it does not like my ATG gun adhesive. Not at all. I'm going to take hot glue and run it along the side of that little one, and then I'm going to let it dry. Basically, I want, I want the height of the glue because I don't have any foam that's that thin that we won't see through. Now I'm going to put some uh, white glue and just hold it. More white glue on the other one. Yeah, I just want, I liked it up there, but when I brought it down, it covered our heads. So I had to, I had to put it down at the feet. It doesn't show up nearly as much as it would, but. 
while I'm laying this down in the video, I'm going to read to you the journaling because I didn't actually do it on the camera. The journaling reads, I knew this time would come. Jake and Meg are nine and 11 years older than the girls, but it was a sad reminder that all my babies are growing older very fast. One day soon, it will be just the two of us. I'm trying paper clips out because the top part of that just looks kind of blank to me because I was expecting the, the title to go there. I just chose this red heart one that I have. I'm just going to glue those down. Now, in the end, I'm, I like how it turned out. I'm so glad that I kept to it and didn't give up after the first two times I ruined the background. This is Stormy Skies. I'm just splattering it diagonally. This ends up being layout, just showing you how easy the tag goes, up and down. Layout 63. I think you're going to get two different shots of close-ups because I did this before that and I think I do it after, but I could be wrong. As always, there's going to be still shots at the end. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I try to answer as fast as possible. And as always, thank you, thank you for watching. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I have some great things coming up with a collab with another YouTuber and more layouts to show you. Thank you.